So we've always said that the NFL top 100 players of whatever year, it, it doesn't matter, right? And it's voted on by the players, except the players don't really know the ins and outs. They'll vote for their friends. They'll vote for their teammates. And it's not really an accurate ranking of who is the best of the best in the league. Blah, 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 blah. But, but we say ignored, except for when our guys, our superstars, get ignored, get disrespected on the rankings by their peers, by their peers. You know, it's one thing. We expect it from the national media jabroni haircuts, but for shame. For, for a shame. So Justin Jefferson clocks in at number 17 uh, on the NFL top 100 of 2022. He is up from 53 last year. Sure, respect. But, I mean, being the only receiver to have 3K plus yards in his first two seasons, you think that that would come with a smidgen of respect. Also, you know, the fact that he's doing it and doing it and doing it well in the first two seasons and a run first offense. Plus, you know, the national media always likes to poo poo on Kirk Cousins. And guess who's throwing him the ball? But uh, again, whatever. I digress. And I understand this. It's sort of like a who gets snubbed for the Pro Bowl, who gets snubbed in the Hall of Fame. You got to take some someone out. So looking at the rest of the list, well, look, look at the Vikings list first. So Jefferson at 17. Last year was 53. Dalvin at 31. Last year he was 20. So he's down. Uh, Kirk Cousins, he wasn't rated in 2021. Made at 99, which is almost more insulting than not making it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kendrick Zedaris, Adam Thielen drop off the list. They were ranked last year. Uh, and also, uh, Daniel hasn't been ranked in a couple of years due to injury. Uh, but, but whatever. What, whatever. But who who would you take out? So here is 11 through uh, 20. So at 20, J.C. Jackson, Debo at 19. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, Darius Leonard's going by Shaq Leonard now. Uh, 17, Justin Friggin, Jefferson, yes. And above him, you know, Micah Parsons. Respect. Massive first season. But does he deserve to be above Justin Jefferson, who's put in two superstar seasons? I don't know. I don't know. I would certainly put him above Tyreek Hill, especially since Tyreek Hill is gone from Patrick Mahomes down to Tua. It is what it is. Plus, another year older. Whatever. I would put Jefferson clearly over Tyreek Hill. Trent Williams needs to be higher on this list. Josh Allen, respect. I would drop Derrick Henry down uh, because last year, you know, dinged up due to injury. Not And also, father time catches up with all running backs. So, he's going to be dropping down. So, I, that's at least three. I mean, Parsons, I, I can go whatever on, but I'm definitely dropping Tyreek. I'm definitely dr uh, dropping Derrick Henry. So, at least J Justin Jefferson is getting in the top 15. And then the top 10. Kelsey, yeah, I'll leave Kelsey up there. Ramsey, I think, is still a little overrated. Mahomes, yes. Uh, Devonta Adams, yes. Well, I can finally say that he's up there. But pretty soon, Jefferson is going to be ascending this list. So Jefferson clocks in at wide receiver four. Right, wide receiver four. Yeah, because it's Jefferson. It goes Tyreek Hill. It goes, uh, that's uh, the wrong slide. And then it goes Devonte at seven. And then it goes Cooper Cup. Mr. Triple Crown at four. Yeah, re respect. Uh, Triple Crown. Super Bowl champione, Super Bowl MVP. Got to put him up there. So re respect that. Jonathan Taylor could be a little bit higher. Sure, I will p maybe put JTT above Cup. I would drop Rodgers down for sure, but that's a given. Aaron Donald. Yeah, Aaron Donald needs to be in, in the top three of this list forever. Tom Brady at one. W would you say right now that Tom Brady is the most dominant player in the league? No, I would say that he's really good. I would say that he's very good in the clutch still, but the best player in the league at 45? Nah, 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 nah. I, I would put Donald at one. I, I would bump up. Uh, I would bump up Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I would move my homes up. Yes. So I, I, I don't know. Like, I, obviously, I, I'm not dropping Brady out of the top 15, so that's sort of a moot point. But yeah, I, I'm certainly moving Justin Jefferson up from 17. Like, like I said, I'm at least getting him to 15, maybe 14. So I'm dropping Henry. I'm dropping Tyreek Hill. I'm dropping... Uh, I mean, Micah Parsons can stay put if we're just dropping Tyreek uh, and Derrick Henry far enough. So then I can leapfrog Jefferson to 14. But either way, I mean, I, I understand it, it's a process. You, you got to quote unquote, pay your dues. You know, Jamar Chase leapfrogged up this list, by the way, after one season, Je Justin Jefferson, you know, wh whatever. He's at 53 now. Uh, well, he's at 53 last year. Excuse me. He's at 17 now after his big time season uh, in, in that similar offense where Cooper Cup had that triple crown Super Bowl champion uh, as well as Super Bowl MVP. Justin Jefferson is going to get all of the juice. He's going to get all of the juice in a contract season. Basically, he's going to get after it. He's going to be in the top 10 and he ain't going to be 10. He's going to be top five. And he ain't going to be five he's gunning for that number one spot man mark my words mark my words little country girl uh, he's gonna be top five next season and he ain't gonna be five 
There you go. But your thoughts are thoughts. Justin Frank and Jefferson, uh, number 17 in the NFL top 100. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. But let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.